hey guys, I have a Discord server. You guys should totally join our community. I'm also really active on Twitch as well as social media, like Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. If you guys want to follow me and stay up to date with everything, check out all the links in the description down below. And I guess enjoy the video. Hey guys, today we're going to be doing the ultimate blue slash purple inventory. And also we have a new segment on the channel called the Twitch clip of the day. If you want to follow me on Twitch, link is in the description down below. And let's get right into it. Okay, I'm planning. Oh god, on side, on side. Ah! <laughs> He's trying to knife me. Someone clip that. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chibi here, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're going to be going over the ultimate purple themed CSGO inventory. So, this is not going to be a cheap inventory. I mean, there are going to be some cheap, affordable skins, but for the most part, this inventory is going to include some pretty expensive stuff. So, if you're on a really low budget, I would not recommend going for an inventory like this. I mean, well, I guess you could make a couple, you could make a few changes, but it's, it's not the same. You need the gloves, you need the knives, you need all the super nice skins to make the inventory complete. But regardless, though, this is a pretty sick inventory. I, I I basically tried to find a bunch of purple skins or skins that are very close to purple like red or blue because you know if you combine red and blue it creates purple ah wow colors so this is a pretty sick inventory and hopefully you guys enjoy it and let me know let me know in the comments down below what changes you would make to this loadout to make it even better anyways guys let's get right into the action so the first skin is the usps neo noir and of course i had to go with this usps it looks super duper sick and of course you know it's purple well it's kind of purple it has a little bit of purple but this is one of the newest uspss in the game actually it's not even that new but it's it's incredibly nice and next up is the glock 18 moonrise and if you well i mean obviously it's purple but yeah this came out in the clutch collection and this has actually been a very popular glock ever since it came out and it's purple so it fits perfectly Next up is the Dual Berettas Moon and Libras, and I know these aren't exactly purple, but these I, these look pretty good, and I mean, these are the closest things to purple dualies. And in my opinion, I think they just look really good in the context of a purple-themed inventory. Next up, we have the P250 Undertow, and this is even less purple. It's basically light blue, but hey, whatever. Dude, it, I mean, honestly, it's a really nice-looking skin for the price, and it, it just it fits in with everything else, kind of, a little bit. Next up, we have the 5.7 Violent Daimyo, and this is actually purple. This is a skin that has a ton of purple on it, and, I mean, it's super cheap as well. So, like, even if you have a normal inventory, like, this is this is still one of the best, like, 5.7s on a budget. And, of course, next up, we have the Desert Eagle Kamicho Dragon Factory Dew. What else can I say about it? It has a purple handle. Yep. That's pretty much all the purple on it, just, just on the handle. But, I mean, hey, it's purple, am I right? Yeah, and you know it. For the Tech 9, I had to go with the Sandstorm because this is the most purple Tech 9 in the game. Plus, it's just really cheap as well. So, it's a, it's a really nice skin. Next up, we have the CZ Auto Tactica, and this actually doesn't have any purple on it, but it has a combination of pink and blue. Which, I mean, eh, those colors are really, really close to purple. So, it's not like it makes a huge difference, but it looks good, though. Anyways, the Nova Tempest is also blue. No, I've noticed that there's a lot of blue skins. But to be fair, though, not a lot of skins have purple on them. So, I had to, like, I had to, like, try to find the best substitutes and I guess the Tempest was a good substitute speaking of substitutions uh, I chose the XM 1014 very camo blue because blue am I right blue is kind of close to purple but, eh, not really <laughs> but eh, it's a pretty nice skin and next up I went with the sawed off wasteland princess and this also doesn't have any purple on it but it has pink and blue so that's close enough that's all I can really say about this it's it's not purple, but it's 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 nice. And then I chose the Mag 7 Cobalt Core Blue again. Turbo, this isn't a list about purple skins. You're listing a bunch of blue skins you you sell out. I mean I mean not every single skin in the game has purple on it. Well speaking of purple, the M249 shipping forecast actually has a little bit of purple on it. Not really too much. It has like a little you know, it has like small little pieces of it like around the skin. But then the stock and then the handle, they actually have a little bit of purple on them. So hey. And then the Negev Dazzle, this also doesn't have any purple, but it has some blue in it. I guess if you kinda squint at it or if if you look at it in a weird way, it kinda looks a little purple. But yeah, I think I'm just reaching here. Next up is the MP9 Pandora's box factory new. Yep, not not purple again, but Eh, whatever, dude. It matches the gloves. Crap, I may have just spoiled a skin later in this list. Uh, transition! Next up is the MP7 Skulls, and this doesn't really have too much purple on it, but the magazine is actually purple. It's full purple, and it looks- it actually looks really, really sick. Like, um, I mean, it's not the most purple skin in the world, but it has accents of purple, and that's close enough for me. Next up is the UMP Minotaur's Labyrinth. And again, not really- I mean, I guess you could kind of- I guess there's a little bit of purple on it, but it's mostly- mostly blue and with a little bit of red on it. 
Hey, there we go. Now we got a skin of some purple. Next up is the P90 Chopper. And actually, the front bit of it is actually blue. Or, or not purple. It's actually purple. At least it looks purple to me. But this is the closest P90 to a purple P P90. And uh, of course, speak on the topic of PPs, we got the PP Bison Water Sigil. It kind of looks a little blue. Like the handle looks a little blue. Or a purple. It looks a little purplish. But it's mostly a blue skin that just kind of looks nice. But of course, now we have a skin that's actually purple, the MAC-10 Ultraviolet. There's purple all over the place, there's purple accents, there's a purple handle, there's purple... There's a pump, purple stock, there's a purple barrel, there's just a bunch of purple on it. It looks super duper cool. Next up is the FAMAS After Image Factory New. And again, there's no purple, but it's red and... red and blue, so you can... Eh, you, it's close enough, dude. You just... if you just smudge the skin a little bit, it'll look purple. We got the Galil Sugar Rush. And also, I just realized there's no purple on it, but there is blue and pink. Close enough, am I right? Yeah, blue and pink, because that's totally purple. And then, of course, we got this really, really, dude, the Scar 20 blueprint. This is, <laughs> it's, okay, it's blue. Whatever, dude. If you're colorblind, it might look kind of purple. Dude, this inventory sucks. Like, none of these skins are purple. Like, seriously. I mean, okay, the Flux, this is purple, but... Like, there's so many skins that aren't even per- Okay, I had to- it was hard for me to, like, find the best skins, but I, I did my best to try to find the skins that were the closest to purple, alright? So, I'm, I'm doing my best here. But we got the Og Akihabara, except there's actually a lot of purple on this skin, but it actually is one of the most expensive Augs in the game. So, it's definitely not gonna come cheap, but it has purple on it, so it's- it fits the build, it fits the inventory. And, of course, the SG553 Ultraviolet, another Ultraviolet skin on this list. There's a ton of purple on here, as well as a, I guess, a little bit of, like, blackish gray, like, gunmetal, I guess. But, it looks pretty damn cool. And, of course, the SSG Dragonfire Turbo. There's no purple on it. I know. I mean, I just, I just like this skin. I just, I wanted to throw it in there. Because I like to throw the skin in almost every inventory, because it's my favorite scout in the game. Next up, we have the Medusa. And I guess this, this could be construed as a little bit, a little bit purple, but it's actually closer to blue. But I mean, when you really think about it, like per like blue and purple are very, very similar colors. There's Next also up, some better op choices like the op lightning strike and the op neo noir. I forgot to put those in originally, but well, oh, here colors. we go. Next up we got the AK-47 the Empress. And I guess eh, I don't know, like I think it's more like bluish blackish. But if you look kind of closely, the barrel and the stock and stuff, there eh, no. The Icarus fell. Just that's just all I have to say about it. It's black and blue. Not purple. This is clickbait. This entire video is clickbait. None of these skins are purple. Now we have the M4 Neo Noir. And you know what? This actually has some purple on it. It's mostly pink and white, but it does have some purple. So at least now we're getting into the skins that have purple. Man, dude. Yep. And then we got the M9 Bandit Ultraviolet, as well as some other Ultraviolet skins. By the way, you can choose whatever Ultraviolet knife you want, because all of them have, like, purple on them. So, yeah, they're all really good choices for an inventory like this. And if you're rich, you can get an M9 Bayonet Sapphire, or a Karambit Sapphire, or any kind of Sapphire knife, because they go very, very well with the inventory. And actually, one thing I forgot to- one thing I forgot to take a screenshot of, I'll throw it in there afterwards, but the gloves you want to go with is the Pandora's boxes. At least field tested, if you can afford minimal wear, d then go minimal wear, but... The Pandora's boxes gloves are purple, and they go- they look really nice with every single skin on this list. So, yeah! That was it. Also, we're gonna change the settings a little bit. You, we're actually gonna hop on this map where we can change our HUD and stuff, and we're actually gonna change our HUD to purple. So that's actually gonna make this the ultimate purple CSGO inventory. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of changes would you guys make to this loadout? Like, did you guys, do you guys think it's good? Like, is it not purple enough? Is there some skins that have more purple that you think I missed out on? Um, because like, I did my best to try to find the best, like the closest skins to purple, but who knows? I might have screwed up on a skin or two. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, click that bell icon, and if you watched the video all the way until the end, leave a comment saying, hashtag Grimace is my daddy. <laughs> and I'll do my best to try to give you guys a heart. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Actually, let me know if you guys are gonna buy any of these skins or if you didn't make any changes, and yeah. Because I, I do read all the comments. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys watching right now. You guys are, you guys are great. Love you. Giggity. It's Turbo, and I'm out. Peace.